hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i have the rest of my haul for my upcoming um prepping video for putting breakfast items in my deep freezer as well as just a few other things we picked up so where did we go oh so we went to walmart and lytle so from walmart unfortunately aldi didn't have any almond milk at any location that i went to so lytle didn't have any um except the regular uh, name brand ones so i went to walmart and i got three of the vanilla almond milk back here i have two gallons of whole milk then we have a bunch of bananas just because and then over here we have three packs of the baby bella mushrooms these are the 16 ounce pack i plan on putting these in my breakfast burritos then here we have three packs of the, or three cans, I guess, rather, of the Great Value Jumbo Biscuits. Down here was like the last little pack of uh, brown dog. So I packed this up. I just have it in the bag so it's directly on my deep freezer. And I'm dropping stuff. And then over here, so from Lytle, we picked up these popcorn chicken by Tyson's Any Tizers. Uh, he picked up these fast fixing chicken brush strips. Then he picked up a pack of hash browns. And then, of course, you know, he likes his little flavored drinks here. So we have this pink grapefruit. And then over here, you can see the other flavors. So he picked up the kiwi strawberry, the black cherry, lemon lime, peach. And then I found this um, mango juice that I thought looked pretty good. So I'm going to try that. And then I also, well, he picked up these little strawberry toaster strudels. I don't eat those. And then he picked up the sliced steak so it's like 14 in a box and then i saw that they had this family size beef hot dog there this was cheaper than the ballpark 16 pack at walmart so i just picked this up and then they had this for a really good deal to me anyway this is the family size 22 pack of bacon and these were two for nine dollars so i picked up those two i wanted to actually get more but i decided not to and then, so I picked, well, he picked up some black grapes. I think I finally got them hooked on black grapes. <laughs> Usually I would, normally I was the only person in my house who ate the black ones. And then we picked up this to try. So this is the limited edition Pillsbury brand cinnamon rolls with peaches and cream flavored icing. So I thought that that sounded good. He said he wanted to try it, so. We went on ahead and picked these up from a Lytle. So, yeah, that is. Oh, and then I also picked up from Lytle. I picked up more tortillas. So, when I went to Aldi, I picked up some. So, this is what the Aldi ones look like. Still the same amount. And then this is the Lytle brand. So, quick thing. You guys, if you don't have it, you should go ahead and download the app. So today, I use the um, the Lido app. And hold on, I think the camera is going to die. Okay. So I use the Lido um, app. I just downloaded it probably about a week ago, maybe. And so they have these little... Um, rewards and things that you can use and so this is what the little app looks like and it just gives you like all the little specials and everything and so what I did was I just went to um where is it I can't think I don't remember where it said it was like specials or something. I don't know. I think all current specials. And so basically, you can look and see what deals they have on sale now. And some of it, as long as you have it checked off on the app, then it'll um, apply when you get to the register. If not, if it's something that is just a sale but it doesn't require like um, 
anything in particular like you don't have to check a specific thing it's just the sale price not a digital coupon then when you put your phone number in it'll go ahead and take off the price so it does say that you can check out um, to uh, redeem like coupons and rewards so they do have like a um, a QR code I won't show the whole thing I don't know if y'all can see it but my phone might be too bright Oh, I think it's just the app itself is just super bright. But basically, they have it where you can um, click on, at the bottom, available rewards and coupons. What the? And then basically, when you go here, it'll show you like the different um, little coupons and rewards that they have on there. And so um, they also have this one, $50 reward, 25% off eggs, limit of four. So they have all different kind of rewards that you can use. And like I said, I just downloaded the app maybe within a week ago, within the week. And I got a five off 30 coupon. And I literally only shopped at Lytle one time other than this. And that was when they had the almond milk, buy one, get one free. Excuse me, so that's why I went to Lytle today to um, check out to see if they had it because I look for almond milk um, about 30, 40 minutes away from my house when I was in that area and they didn't have it. And then I looked on my side of town on my way home that same day, they didn't have it. So I don't know what's going on with Aldi and why they don't have any almond milk or why Lytle doesn't seem to have any almond milk. Um, the only thing that Lytle had because they do carry the store brands they had like the silk almond milk and stuff like that which I don't buy because why when I can save money and then I went to Walmart and so like I said I just ended up picking up this so these were like 236 whereas at Aldi you can get your almond milk for like a dollar 79 so I don't know if someone just bought it up or what's going on but it's kind of annoying but this is mostly um stuff that I'm going to be using for my um, prepper video to put breakfast things in my uh, freezer. So make sure you stay tuned for that video where I'll be showing you the breakfast burritos, the pancakes. I'm going to try to make French toast and some different muffins. I don't know if I'm going to put everything in one video if I'm going to break it up into different videos. Um, most likely, I'm probably... I was going to go live, but I plan on cooking like really early in the morning, like probably like six in the morning. So I figured none of y'all would even be up yet. So I'll probably just record the video. Um, it's probably going to be a long one. So I'm going to warn you, but that's because I'm going to be cooking. It's going to be in real time. So I think tonight I'm going to go ahead and try to prep, you know, like my, my veggies and everything, get these cut up and washed, get my onions cut up and washed. And then... The ground sausage. I'm not sure if I'm. I might cook that tonight as well. It's just sometimes you don't like to cook certain things, or at least I don't ahead of time when it's um, something that produces a lot of you know oil or grease. Because then once it cools down in the fridge, then it's going to be like a lump, and it's going to be harder for me to scoop it out. So I don't know. I might end up just cooking that tomorrow. It also depends on the amount of pots and pans. Of course, um, you know I don't have the biggest kitchen, and I I have a decent number of pots and pans but not really <laughs> depending on what I need it for so we're gonna see how that goes as far as how I fix it so y'all bear with me on these videos coming up because this is gonna be a learning experience as far as how I'm gonna be able to do this because y'all know I do not do editing or use editing software or anything like that so when I shoot videos for y'all it's like one and done so we're gonna see how that works I might do like a separate video I don't know where I do muffins. I might do continuation videos where I start working on, you know, more than one thing in one video. And then you might see the finished product at the start of the next video. But I'll make sure I put the videos out like back to back. So even if I do it that way, it, it's not like you guys are going to have to wait forever. And as well as I can always put a picture on my community tab of what the finished product looks like. Because realistically, all you really want to know is how to make it anyway and see what I'm making what the finished product looks like, I guess, to y'all is really 
not really going to matter because when you do it, it could look different. So that's that's my plan. So I'm going to go ahead so I can put this stuff up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and, you know, my little, I guess, uh, warning. Well, not warning, but my, you know, my little synopsis of what I'm planning on doing for this uh, video tomorrow. Like I said, it will be early, so the video should be up. Depending on what time I get done, the videos should be up before 2 o'clock, at least the first one. If not, then I'll do them when I come back home, but you guys will definitely get it tomorrow. So, I'm going to go, and uh, I'll see you guys in my breakfast videos. I'm so excited. Bye, y'all.